We came from roaches on the floor, a notice on the door. Baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth, the way it's soaking and it wash. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and it's raw. I used to post up out of store, work stash behind the door. Everything I had was pure, so fiends was coming back for more. The most high opened my eyes, and then I seen that I was flawed. Now I'm addicted to these laws, because they potent and they raw. I was in and out of jail, cause in the streets, yeah, I was wrong. Call that for life, like y'all about shim y'all was shine. That's all praise to the Most High God who, of Israel, whose name is Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Right. right? We the Hebrew Israelites, not because we read in the Bible, it's because we blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody out here the color of a crayon box, and ain't nobody out here the property of somebody else. You know what I mean? Because we the Israelites, man. We the Israelites of the Most High God, man. We the property of the Most High. You know what I mean, right. but our family don't realize that, right? These our brothers and sisters walking by don't realize that. You know what I mean? Nah. And we get a whole bunch of hate from our family and these and these brothers walking by. You know what I mean? Because we out here telling them the truth. We out here being a light and shining this light on their darkness and exposing their wickedness. You know what I mean? Because we came out here to do that. You know what I mean? We came out here to show y'all your sinful ways and tell y'all y'all need to repent. Because we are about to be, this thing about to be over. Uh, you know what I mean? Y'all running out of time. Y'all running out of time to repent, man. And we do what the most I say. We don't do what nobody else say. Let me get that. Let me get that in the NLT. Right, this Luke 20, 21 to 16. Right, this first John chapter one. Right, Luke 21 to 16. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 16. Even those closest to you. Your parents, brothers, relatives, and friends. All those people that love you, they claim they love you, man. All those that y'all love, your closest relatives, man, for coming in this truth and, and spreading this gospel, what's going to happen? Well, betray you. They're going to betray you. Let's say this Bible, man. Right. So if y'all getting betrayed by your family, y'all on the right track. Because right. if your family loved you, you know what I mean? Because personally, I was selling heroin. You know what I mean? I was selling PCP, weed, ecstasy. And guess what? My family was over there having dinner. Yeah, you know I mean, my family was over there having a good time, mm -hmm. coming to see the kids. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm, I'm unlawfully carrying firearms. Yeah, you know I mean, at this time, and they loved me. They was always around. Yeah, you know I mean, but now I'm preaching this gospel. Yeah, you know I mean, they don't want to be nowhere around. For real, they embarrassed them. Uh, Keep going. And some of you will be killed, and everyone will hate you because they hate you. Jesus, Everybody gonna hate us because. We followers of Hamashiach Yahweh, man. Because we do the work in Yahweh, man. And they hate us. That's coming from our family. How much more you niggas on the street, man? Uh, yeah, I mean, we know why y'all hate us. And it's cool. We cool with that. We in the right place, man. Let me get that. First John chapter 3, verse 13. Marvel not, my brother, if the world hate you. Marvel not. Don't be surprised when this world hates you, man. Yeah, I mean, we're not surprised. We accept it. We understand it. Go ahead. We know that we have passed from death onto life. We passed from being dead bodies into having life in us. How? Because we love the brethren. Because we love the brethren, man. That's how we went from death to life. Because we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments. We love Yahweh and our brethren, the blacks, Hispanics, and, Na and Native Americans. And we really, we don't love nobody else, man. You know what I mean? We, we can't wait for the day to see the fall of our enemies, man. We ain't out here to love them. We out here to bash their baby's head on the rock. Go ahead. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. If you don't love your black, Hispanic, and Native American brother, y'all abiding in death. Because what goes around comes around. You know what I mean? So if you're doing your brother wrong, expect that wrong to come. And if you're living in sin, expect to get that judgment. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. You a murderer in the heart. If y'all hate your black, Hispanic, and Native American brothers, man, y'all murderers. You know what I mean? Y'all doing anything to hurt them. Y'all trying to come up on y'all people. You know what I mean? And, and we out here worshiping things that we don't know. Our people worship what they don't know. Right. You know what I mean? But we know who we worship. That's right. That's right. right. And ye know that no murder hath eternal life abiding in them. Excuse me, sister. We are teaching the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Yeah. Do you follow the Bible, sis? If the world is about to end, sis, we need to do better than the best of our ability, sis. Because, because at our job, we tell our boss we're doing it to the best of our ability. And he's going to say that's not the best the of the... But, but we do, though, because that's the most I got. The, the most I got is your boss. 
It's that's your boss, right? Listen to me. Right. It's not my boss. Okay, so he's the love of my soul. Wow. What? Keep going. <laughs> uh, verse, uh, verse 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God. How God? We love God, right? Because he laid down his life for us. We love we love God and we love you. We love Hamashiach Yahushai because our big brother laid down his life. A so-called black man laid down his life for you blacks and Hispanics, man. Ain't nobody out here did that for y'all, man. Right. A so-called black man died for us That's so right. that we had an opportunity, man. Keep going. We ought to lay down our lives for the brother. That's what we out here to do. We out here to lay our life down for you blacks and Hispanics because we receiving all type of hate, man, from all type of hate. Whether it's on the comment board, whether it's in the house, whether it's on the street, you know what I mean? We put our life down for this, man. We don't tuck in our fringes when we done here. Right. Right. We walk around, we come back over here by ourselves, man. Right. It ain't being out here doing this because we got people with us, man. We got the most high with us, man. Right. Right. Go ahead. No, let me get that. Let me get Job 11 and 20. It's the book of Matthew 10 and 10 verse 35. I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother. So Yahweh Shai, so-called Jesus Christ, came to do what? I have set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So we expect this. You know what I mean? But Yahweh Shai came to do that for, for his chosen, man. He came to set up the father against the son, man. And that's what's happening in my household. You know what I mean? The, the mother against her daughter. You know what I mean? But my, my, my family's so wicked that they hang around the wicked ones. You know what I mean? But the righteous ones, they, they don't want nothing to do with them. It's like they lames. You know what I mean? Oh, they lame. You know what I mean? Oh, oh he, 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 he became something. He used to be that boy, but now, you know what I mean? He gave up everything for, for the Bible. You know what I mean? You damn right we did, man. That's right, that's right. Y'all niggas really low level worried about the block, man. Right, that's right. Run the block. We out here trying to run the world. That's right. right. That's what we out here to do. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead. Your enemies will be right in your own household. And that's right now, man. That's all of these brothers up here, man. Our enemies in our own household. That's man. right. Our family ain't got no love for us. And guess what? We still got love for them. Right. Me, but we don't give a damn. Go ahead. If you love your, your father and mother more than you love me. And that's why we don't give a damn. Because we don't love our father and more, mother more than we love the most high. That's Go ahead. Right. Right. You are not worthy of being mine. And we try to be worthy out here. That's why we come out here twice a week. That's why we putting out videos like crazy, man. That's right. You know what I mean? We out here really trying to do this work. Because if you can't say that I put in enough, I did my best, how, how much you think the most high gonna say? Right. If you can't say I tried my best, you know what I mean? How you gonna look the most high in his eye and be like, am I worthy? You, you know you ain't worthy. Right. Go ahead. Or if you love your son or daughter more than me, you are not worthy of being mine. We can't put our kids before this, man. If you're ready to lay your life down for your children, if you're ready to go through the storm for your children, man, you better be ready to do this for the most high, man. Right. Right. It's brothers out here, we know everybody ready to kill for their kids, man. Everybody, everybody ready to die for their kids. Yeah, you know I mean, how about you be ready to die for this truth? Right. How about you be ready to die for your people? Right. How about you be ready to die for your brother and your father, man? Right, this is Job 11 and 20 in the NLT. But the wicked will be quiet. That's everybody in our family that hate us. That's all y'all walking, walking past and don't want to hear it. Y'all gonna be blinded because y'all see what's going on. It's about to be World War III. Everything in this Bible has been prophesied, man. It said that you blacks and Spanish will go into slavery. That happened. I mean, that was written 2,000 years ago. Right. Over 2,000 years ago. It said that, that your brother was going to have an evil eye against your brother if you ain't keeping these commandments. It said that you was going to be at the bottom. You know what I mean? You was going to be the tail and all these other nations was going to be the head. Right. You know what I mean, this is all things that really happened. But the white man wrote the book. How the white man wrote the book if he not going through these things? You know what I mean? If this ain't him. You know what I mean? If, if it was that way, then the white man should be not going through the curses and every other nation should be going through it. But no, it's we're going through the curses That's right. and every other nation is not going through it. That's right. Where I got you at? Finish it up. They will have no escape. Their only hope is death. Right. The wicked going to be blind and they, they going to have no escape, man. 
They only, the only hope they got is death so that they can come into this kingdom, man. Because it's going to be too late for y'all to repent. The only thing y'all going to have is dying and being born in this thing, man. Keep going. Uh, Mark 13. Psalms 27 and 7. I this is the book of Mark chapter 13 and verse 12. Brother will betray brother to death. Fathers will betray their own children. That's happening, man. Watch the news, man. You got your brothers killing y'all brothers. That's you got right. brothers snitching on each other, man. Going to the white man, confessing all the all all, all their crimes to the white man so they can get less time mm -hmm. and going and telling on their brother and watching their brother rot in jail. Yeah you know I mean, and then they get smoked when they come out of jail anyway for writing. Like you ain't ain't no win in this society right. for us, man. Right. right. Keep going. And children will rise against their parents. And that's happening, man. You see, yo. You, these black, yo, these kids are so young killing killing other people. Man. That's right. It's 13 to 14 year olds pulling the trigger right. on, on the so called on, on another man, on another child. Right. You know what I mean? They betraying them, man. They getting their parents killed. They getting people ran up in the house. They got bricks of coke, you know what I mean? Pounds of weed in their crib. Got people running up in their crib, taking everything, killing the parents. You know what I mean? Holding them hostage, man. Yo, the parents telling you to walk this way and you want to walk the other way. Right. You know what I mean? Just like how the Most High God is telling you to walk this way, but you want to do your own thing. Right. You know what I mean? And that's why y'all die so much out here. And it's only you blacks and Hispanics. And cause them to be killed. Cause your parents to be killed, boy. And everyone will hate you because of your allegiance to me. But though. But those who endure to the end will be saved. Everybody gonna hate us, man. And we love it. We take it cheerfully, man. And we're gonna endure this thing. We're gonna endure this hate. We're gonna endure this person. Right. Until the end of this, man. Lord willing, man. Go ahead. All right, this is Psalms 27 in the NLT, verse 10. Even if my father and mother abandoned me. Even if my father and mother abandoned me, man. Even if they said, you're not my child, we forsake you. Don't come around. I'm not coming around you no more. What? The Lord will hold me close. The Lord gonna hold us close, man. Right, we don't give right, a damn if that. our parents forsake us, man. Right. We don't care how our uncles feel, right. how our feel, how our cousins feel. We don't give a damn how y'all feel, man. All we care about how the most high feel, man. Because if y'all reject us, the most high gonna accept us, man. And we must be on the right foot. Because y'all ain't only did it to us. I mean, y'all been doing this. I mean, y'all been looking for something. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh, you know, they, they, they talk about they hate the white man. They preach and hate. Yeah, you know I mean, we need to save his children from them. Yeah, you know I mean, that's how these parents starting to feel. Yo, I'm about to report him because if we don't do something about him, he's going to get his kids killed. But if I'm out there selling dope. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm out there selling pounds of weed, and they ain't never think that way before. They ain't never want to report me before. But now I'm out here teaching the Bible. You know what I mean? Slinging verses. You know what I mean? Now, now they want to report me because they fear for my child life. Bring it up. Bring it up. This is the book of Luke, chapter 20 and verse 20. Watch it for the opportunity. Watch it. Lurking. Go ahead. The leaders sent secret agents pretending to be honest men. They sitting there listening. Oh, that's what you talk about? Oh, that's what you about? Go ahead. They tried to get Jesus to say something that could be reported to the Roman government. So you would arrest Jesus. So y'all did this to the Y'all did this to the Messiah. We, we, what, y'all gonna, y'all gonna give us a G pass? But we gonna get a G pass? We, we know. We see y'all watching. Yeah, you know I mean, we know that y'all waiting for the opportunity to get us arrested. Waiting for the opportunity to get us, get us persecuted. Bring that out. This is Luke chapter twenty-three, verse twenty in the NLT. Uh, Pilate argued with them because he wanted to release Yahusha. So this was this was a, a ruler, a judge in, in Rome, right? He wanted to release Yahusha. He said he found nothing wrong with this man. Go ahead. But they kept shouting, "Crucify him! Crucify him!" That's that's gonna be them. That's gonna be them walking past that don't like what we're talking about. You know what I mean, oh, they preaching, hey, crucify them, arrest them. Go ahead. For the third time, he demanded, "Why? What crime has?" Has he committed? What crime did we commit? We ain't commit no crimes. We ain't right. smacking Edomites in the back of the head. Right. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. We ain't, we ain't doing none of that yet. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. But crucify him though. We ain't do nothing but y'all hate us though. Go ahead. Right. I have found no reason to sentence him to death. So I will have him flogged and then I will release him. So he was trying to stay the protocol. 
Y'all you know I mean, listen, man, I can't find no fault in this man. I can't persecute him to death. Go ahead. But the mob shouted louder and louder, demanding that Yahweh shall be crucified. And their voices prevailed. So they ain't let this man get a, get an option. Y'all you know I mean, they wanted to see Yahweh shall die, man, for, for preaching his gospel. For, for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, not for everybody. Go ahead. So Pilate sent this Yahweh to die as they demanded. So, so what happened? Yahweh had to die for this, man, because the people wanted to see him die. And he ain't do nothing but heal people, man. He ain't do nothing but preach this truth. You know what I mean? And that's all we out here trying to do. Heal our people, man. Get them out of these, out of these false doctrines. You know what I mean? Get them out of this state of murdering each other. The state of, of stealing from each other, having sex with each other's wives. Yeah, I mean, we try to save y'all and heal y'all from that. Cause that, cause y'all coming back to these commandments is the only way that our true, true identity can be healed. Our true power can be healed, man. Because we're a damaged people out here. Go ahead. Mr. Brother Luke, chapter 23. Second Chronicles 32, KJ. Can you say 34? And 34. Jesus said, Father, forgive these people because they don't know what they are doing. They don't know what they're doing, man. And that's what we out here too. We out here forgive y'all because we know that y'all ears is closed and y'all eyes is closed because the most high want y'all eyes closed. Go ahead. And the soldiers gambled for his clothes by throwing dice. So they was throwing dice for the board on, on the cross next to me who had, the, who had died. You know what I mean? They over there rolling dice for it. You know what I mean? And they see that happen to us. Guess what? They're going to be rolling dice for our belongings. You know what I mean? They come and arrest us and leave all our stuff here. That's exactly what y'all going to be doing out here. Y'all going to be fighting over our belongings. But we wrong, though. You know what I mean? We wicked, though. Second Chronicles 36 and 15 in the KJV. Second Chronicles 36 and 15. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by, by his messengers. And that's what we all had to do, man. We all had being messengers of the Most High. And the Most High sent us out here. Out here to speak to y'all in this community. Rising, rising up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people. And the Most High God got compassion on our people. That's why God got us out here trying to teach y'all something. God got us out here trying to teach y'all sound doctrine and truth, but nobody want to listen. Everybody want to run away from us. Nobody want to hear about the Bible. I ain't got time for the Bible. But guess what? God ain't going to have time for you. Go ahead. Right. And it on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God. They mocked the messengers of God. They mocked us while we up here, man. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing new under the sun. Go ahead. And despised his words. They despise our words. You know what I mean? We telling y'all what's going to happen. We telling y'all that the Bible said that the third war is coming and what y'all got to do to be saved. But instead, we want to go to the liquor store and we want to go to the stock clothing store. You know what I mean? And, and get some of those clothes and shake your ass at the club right. tonight. You know what I mean? We don't try and deal with that. And that's why they be like, I mean, seven people. It's like two people a day dying in Philly right now. Like they're getting shot. And it was 3,000 people that got shot last year. So we say 10 people got shot a day. 10 people a day getting shot in Philly, man. Right. And y'all want to go to the club and shake y'all ass. And where, where y'all from? What's your nationality? New York. New York. What's your nationality? Uh, multi. <laughs> you're, you're a so-called Caucasian man? Yeah. yeah. How y'all feel about uh, the so-called black and Hispanic man being under subjugation against your people? I think it's bullshit. It's bullshit. I agree. So what should happen? Like, that how can everyone we should be every everyone should be created equal. Everyone should be created equal. Uh, let me be treated equal. equal. But let me let me see what the Bible says. Um, which, so so everybody should be created equal. But how can we fix the so-called black and Hispanic man at the bottom of every community that they we're that we're in, in every ghetto that we're in? We don't go to the big house of the the, uh, the, the county. I mean, pull up in a, in a garage, you know what I mean? So how, how can we change that? That's the question. I wish I knew. Well, you yeah. willing to give up everything you own? We don't really own our cars on. So let's see what the Bible says. though. Let's go to Revelation 14 and 10. Now here, here's one scripture. I'm going to show you what the Bible says to happen. Yeah, yeah, let me see if you agree. Oh, yeah. 
Because they, they, you know, God, you believe in God? He's a just God. You know, there was no justice for what happened to the so-called black and Hispanic man. Would you agree? There was no justice. So how can he be a just God if no karma ever came back around to the people who brought these atrocities to us? Right? So let's see what the Bible got planned for those people. But then again, there was also the Tower of Babel. Tabo. Just bring that up. Uh, Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Right. He that leadeth into, into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So get your fat ass and do some push-ups and get your wife to run the block because we're going to have your ass built in our game. about these motherfuckers out here, man. Right. Right. Sixteen. It's the book of Matthew, chapter one. Yeah, you know I mean, we ain't out here to show love to, to no other nation but our nation of people, man. The nation of Israel, man. That's you blacks and Hispanics. We don't give a damn about these other nations. And, and it's a time right now we 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 fishing for the elect. But it's time coming real soon when we're gonna be hunting these other nations, man. Right, right. And y'all, I'm hoping. I'm and I don't know who gonna get the green light when this hunting season comes. So y'all better hope it don't come in my spirit tonight. Go ahead. <laughs> 36 and 15, 16, 16. All right, this is 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. Now, but they mock the messengers of God. They mock the messengers of God. Look at these niggas and sticks out here teaching the Bible. It's cold as hell. They doing this, and they don't even got a collection plate out here. You know what I mean? They doing this for free. What niggas doing shit for free? Time is money. They mocking the messengers of God. They don't want to hear about what's coming. They don't want to hear that the black and Hispanic man is the best people on this earth. They don't want to hear that they kings and what they got to do to be a king. Because the king comes with responsibilities. And despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people. Right? Yo, man, keep running, bro, like run a couple right, right, laps, bro, 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 cause you weak as hell, man. You too weak, bro. Right. Get your ass strong, cause it's gonna be a lot of enduring, man. Right. <laughs> so there was no remedy. There was no remedy, man. That's why the Most High destroying the black and Hispanic community. Because we want to reject the prophets, and we want to misuse them. Instead of coming out here and seeing what we teaching, they want to come out here and start scoffing. Be like, what the book of Enoch said? We don't give a damn what the book of Enoch That's said. Right. You don't even know who the hell you are talking about you from four different tribes from your father's side. Yeah, we get the hell off the block, man. And you lucky, the, lucky these soldiers ain't taking off the block. That's the book of Matthew. Jeremiah 15, chapter 5, 4. Chapter 13, you know what I mean? Yo, the most high raising soldiers, man. We ain't no Christians over here, man. We, we ain't got no tap dad shoes over here. Man. We got boots and cargo, vests and firearms out here, man. We really about that life, man. We out, we out about here. We out here about our father's business, man. And our father is a man of war, man. He ain't a man of love. The most high God in his Bible is a man of war, man. And he killing you blacks and Hispanics. By, by an alarming rate. Go ahead. Uh, that's the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 57. And they were deeply offended and refused to believe in him. Then Jesus told them, a prophet is honored everywhere except in his, in his own hometown and among his own family. Yeah, a prophet ain't respected against our family. I tell my father about the Bible, you know what I mean, and the breakdown on the family. You know what I mean, oh no, this nigga can't have the breakdown. Now nah, you don't got the truth, and you my son, I know you ain't shit. You know what I mean, you can't be a prophet. You know what I mean? In our own city, bro, you so dope on the corner in Kensington, bro. You not a, where the hell you come from reading the Bible? You know what I mean? A prophet ain't respecting his own city and his own town. You know what I mean? And that's why we go from city to city, man. Because we out here to wake the people up. You know what I mean? And if you ain't getting woken up, you ain't meant to get woken up. Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 25 and 4. And the Lord have sent unto you all his servants, the prophets. The Lord sent all his servants, the prophets, unto you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans over here at Fox Street Plaza. You know what I mean? Y'all should really feel, y'all should, y'all the most I sent this your way, man. But y'all don't want to come talk. Y'all need to take advantage of this. You know what I mean? But y'all want to go and rush to the liquor store. You know what I mean? And rush to y'all death, man. Y'all going nowhere fast. Right. Yeah. Raising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened. Y'all didn't hearken. Y'all ain't listening. What? Nor inclined 
You're here to hear. Y'all ain't listening, man. And that's why y'all gonna be part of that two third if y'all don't wake up. If y'all don't open your ear, man. We out here for you to hear us. We ain't out here because, you know, we getting a check. Ain't nobody over here getting a check, bro. We out here because we sincerely love you, bro. And we hoping that you will stop and hear the word of God. But we know that our people say they love God, but they, they deny him by the way they live. You know what I mean? Right. So y'all really some damn liars. Right. Bring that out. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 5, verse 11. God blesses you when you are mocked and persecuted and lied about because you are my father. Yeah. We bless, man. We take that as a blessing, boy. Be sure. happy about it. Be very glad for a great reward awaits you in heaven. And remember, the ancient prophets were persecuted too. Yeah, man. You understand what happened to them? Y'all you know I mean? Only Job was the richest man. Y'all you know I mean? And we and can't no, ain't no, only a camel or uh, a cam it's easier for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to make it in the kingdom. Right. We ain't not here trying to be rich, man. Right. We ain't not here trying to be that bull no more, man. Right. We know that that ain't what's the most high looking for. You know what I mean? We out here to raise up and glorify the name of God. Right. And, and try to raise up you blacks and Hispanics. Because y'all are the best people on this earth. Right. You know what I mean? Y'all the best people, but y'all acting like the worst people. You know what I mean? I mean, nobody up here getting a check, man. Only check we working for is that check in that heaven. That heavenly check. Bring that out, First Timothy 6 and 12. This is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Fight that good fight of faith, man. Even though we got to take this hardship from our family, from our friends, I mean, everybody turning their back on us, you know what I mean? We got to fight this good fight, man. And we got to endure this thing. What? Where are two? Thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. And that's what we trying to do, man. We professionals in this thing, man. And this is the, pro this is the best profession we can have, man. Y'all want to be prof professional drug dealers. You know what I mean? Y'all can't be that. The most high not dealing with that. Right. Yeah, I mean, he's going to make you fall. Your whole, your whole structure is going to fall, man. Your house is built on sand. But when we build our house on this word of God, this thing is on concrete, man. Uh, there ain't no big bad wolf blowing this thing down over there. Right. Right. The only big bad wolf is the most high blowing yeah, your house down. God. What I got you? You finish on that? Yeah, yeah don't get mad. You're talking about Second Timothy 2 and 3. Therefore, endure hardness. You're going to endure this hardness, man. Like what? As a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Not a good Christian, not a good tap dancer, not a good warrior, man. A good soldier of Yahweh Shah, man. That's what we out here to do. We out here to endure this hardness, man. We out here to get that good job, faithful servant, man. That's what we out here searching for. That's God. what we out here working for, man. Bring that out. That's the book of Matthew. Chapter 19, verse 9. And everyone who has, and everyone who has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or property for my sake. So for all of us who gave all that up, you know what? You don't want to be around me, mom. It's cool. Don't be around me then. You, you embarrassing me, pop. It's cool, man. Y'all mad because we don't celebrate nobody's birthday no more. We don't we don't worship Satan no more. Y'all mad because because celebrating your birthday is the number one law or the number one thing. What's that? In the satanic in the Bible. Bible. In the satanic Bible, man. We don't worship Satan over here, man. Right. We cut him off. Y'all you know I mean he don't live over here no more. Y'all you know I mean? But y'all wanna keep worshiping Satan. Y'all you know I mean? And y'all wanna drag us right along with y'all. Y'all you know I mean? And then we all that. Want some money? Yeah, you know I mean, my sister asked me for a favor, then I guess then I, yeah, you know I mean, that's the only way I can get my nephew. Yeah, you know I mean, and it's cool. Yeah, you know I mean, cause we'll forsake all that, man. For for the, for the name of your how about Shimmy Awashaki. 
Why? Why are we going to forsake that? Go ahead. We'll, we'll receive a hundred times as much in return and we'll have eternal life. That's why, man. We're going to receive that a hundred times. Uh, uh, if blacks and Hispanics are the best people on this earth, right. and any other nation outside of that is going to slavery. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Hey, finish that out. Third. In verse 30. But many who seem to be important now will be the least important then. So all y'all who are important, y'all mean y'all wanna be dealing with the ball on the block, the hitter, the money maker, y'all mean all those important people, they're gonna be the least, man. Right? And all of us who's the least important to mom, least important to dad, least important to our cousins now, we're gonna be the most important in the kingdom, man. Go ahead. And those who are considered least here will be the greatest then. That's what we working for, man. We working for that spot in this kingdom. We, work, we working for rulership over all these nations, man. We working for have these nations, these other nations, being our slaves. You know what I mean? And like, I want to see, I want to see some Edom, Edomite babies as slippers from my brother. All right, that's what we out here for, man. You know what I mean? And if y'all don't want that, man, y'all in the wrong place, man. That's why the most high ain't using y'all. You know what I mean? If you ain't wanting this thing, yeah, I mean, if you don't believe in this thing, man, then keep falling for the black dollars and see where it gets you. Let's see, let's see where destiny and fate get you. Yeah, I mean, and with that, we gonna say called up a lot for your how about shin yao shot, and we say my wife for the ball. We came from roaches on the floor, a notice on the door, baking soda in the jar, but now we focus on the law. It's like soap up in a cloth, the way it's soaking and it wash. It's something like good dope, cause it's potent and it's raw. I used to post up out of store, work stash behind the door. Everything I had was pure, so fiends was coming back for more. The most high opened my eyes, and then I seen that I was flawed. Now I'm addicted to these laws, because they potent and they raw. I was in and out of jail, cause in the streets, yeah, I was lost.